everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are talking about Facebook pixels and how to add a Facebook pixel to your page. So first off, what is a Facebook pixel? It's essentially a little piece of code that connects your site and things that happen on your site to Facebook so that they can communicate back and forth to say, okay, this per person registered, this person purchased something on your page, they viewed this content, etc. So it's a way to track what people are doing on your site and communicate that back to Facebook for your ads. So if you're running a Facebook ad, it will know um, this person went through and purchased or this person didn't so that it can show your ads to the right person. Okay, so I'm assuming if you're here that you have some sort of freebie or webinar or product that you're trying to advertise on Facebook. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through the pages and how I set up my pages in Squarespace in order to be ready to accept the pixel. Okay, so inside of pages here, I'm gonna show you an example for um, like a webinar or a freebie as well as a product. So first things first, let's look at a freebie or a webinar. So you're going to have your opt-in page. This is a very bare bones one just to show you um, how I set it up. Um, so don't take this as a good example of a opt-in page per se, but you're gonna have a tagline, maybe a mock-up. You're gonna talk about the benefits and why they should sign up for your webinar or download your freebie. Okay? Then you're going to have some way for them to actually give you their information in order to sign up, um, whether this goes to a email list or whatnot, so active campaign um, or easy webinar or whatever it is, you would have that on this page. I like to hide the header and footer on this page so that they have to either sign up for your thing or click outside of that. To do that, I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I add this code here, which says header, footer, display, none. Okay, so I've added that little bit of CSS inside that page to hide my header and footer. I'm then going to have a thank you page and you're going to have to have whatever system you've used for them to sign up, whether that be active campaign, easy webinar, um, mail or light, um, car trail, whatever it is, you're going to have them redirect after they have signed up to this thank you page. Okay. You're going to have some sort of congratulations, you're in, you can tell them, you know, how they access your freebie or webinar or what have you, you can have a button to download, whatever you want. The idea is that we're going to put a bit of code, your pixel, onto this page to tell Facebook if somebody visits this page, it's because they signed up. Same process for your product. Now, if you are selling a product on a product page in Squarespace, you don't need to do this. It's automatically going to have that into the back end of Squarespace to communicate that that's a purchase. You don't need to do anything for that. This is if you're selling something outside of Squarespace. So maybe you're using member space, um, teachable, um, I don't know, any, any sort of program that you're selling outside of Squarespace, but you're using Squarespace to sell it. So you have a checkout page or some sort of opt-in or sales page on your Squarespace site and you're going to have some sort of tagline. Um, you're going to talk about what the product is. You're going to have some sort of buy button or, a, or a embedded checkout form. I don't generally hide the header and footer on this page. Um, sometimes for sales pages I do, but it really depends on you know how they've got, got here. Then same process, you're going to have a product thank you page to let them know their order is confirmed and how they can get access to the product or the course or whatever it is that they've purchased. Once all your pages are ready, we can set up your Facebook pixel. So you're going to go to your events manager or your Facebook business home and select events manager. Then we're going to add a data source. You can click this green plus, click web and connect, and we're gonna name your pixel. Now, when I first started this, I was creating a different pixel for every event. So I had one for um, you know, a certain product, one for this freebie, one for that freebie, 
And after working with Facebook ads and some Facebook ads managers and marketers, I've learned that that is not the way to do it because we want the pixel to be able to collect as, men, as much information as it can. And so it wants to know who's purchasing, who's signing up for your stuff, who's doing what on your site. And if you have a different pixel for each of those, they're not able to communicate together to tell you what's happening on your site. So the only time that you will want different pixels is if you have different businesses or two completely different audiences that you don't wanna to mix together. Um, but I would say 99% of the time, you're going to want just one pixel to track everything that's happening um, on your site or in your business. So you can name your pixel, your business name, mine's just Rebecca Grace Designs, um, but you can name it whatever you want to represent um, your business or what this pixel is for. Okay, so all, you're just gonna put your business name in there and click create pixel. Then you'll want to add your website URL. They're just checking to see if you can use an integration partner like Squarespace. So put your URL in there. I'm just going to use this trial sites um, URL, but you're gonna to wanna to put your live URL. Click next. You're gonna select meta pixel only. And then go over to your data sources, click on the pixel, and we're gonna to click to check for a partner. I'm gonna choose Squarespace. You can turn on automatic advanced matching, which matches and looks through people's like ad email address, phone number, and that kind of stuff to connect it to a profile on Facebook. If you're doing this, make sure you've added this in your privacy policy so people know what information you're collecting. Click next. Then it wants to go through and make sure that you don't have any other pixel code on your site. Okay, so you can go to settings, advanced, code injection, and make sure you don't have any other Facebook pixel code in here. And then you're going to go to marketing, Facebook pixel and ads and make sure you don't have a number in here. In Events Manager, you can click Next, and you're gonna copy the number that they give you here. You don't need the period, okay, just the number. And you're gonna paste it in here and click Save. And in Events Manager, you can click Next, and now it wants to test that your pixel is working properly. So you're gonna put your URL in there. You wanna put your URL to your live site, not the one in the editor. This is a trial site again, so I'm just using the URL that I have. And click send test traffic. And if you go back, it should tell you that there's been traffic on the site and that it is active. Again, I have a trial site, so it might not like um, that it's opening up now in the editor because I'm signed in, but it should say that yours has activity. Click next. You can use the event setup tool um, in order to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it manually. So you can just click next and finish. So now you have your pixel on your Squarespace site. It is going to be able to see page views. If somebody purchases from a shop page on Squarespace, all the normal Squarespace functions would have this kind of built into them. But it has no way of knowing that the thank you pages we created mean something more than a page view, okay? Because they're just a regular page inside of Squarespace. So we want to be able to add a pixel to these pages so that it so that the Facebook pixel knows okay when somebody visits this page I want you to tag them as a lead or that they've completed the registration or when somebody visits this page I want you to tag that they've purchased a product from my business to do that we have to manually add some code so what we're going to do is refresh our page and it should bring up something like this. You can ignore um, this yet, we're not ready for that. 
what you're going to do is click manage integrations, manage, and then add to another website. We're not actually adding it to another website, but we want the code. So then we're going to click install code manually and it's automatically genera generated this base code for us. So we're going to copy the code. I'm going to go to the page on our Squarespace website that we want to track. So I want to track this webinar thank you page. So in the advanced tab, I'm going to paste the code that they gave me. And right now, if you kind of look down the code here, you'll see it has the pixel code, but then it's tracking it as a page view. And I want to change that because when somebody visits that thank you page, I want it to tag that that is a lead or that they've completed a registration. Okay, there's a ton of different events we can track. Here's a list of the standard events that we can do. And so you're gonna to wanna to go through and find which one matches you. So if this is a freebie, I would track it as a lead. If it is a webinar, I would track it as a completed registration. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this code here. And inside my pixel code, I'm just gonna replace this page view line with track complete registration. So now when somebody visits my webinar thank you page, it's gonna track that they've completed a registration. I can click save. Now for my checkout page, I want to track that somebody has started the process of checking out. Okay, because this is an important thing in my business. If somebody visits this page, they're thinking about purchasing from me. And so I want to track that. So inside of here, we can track um, initiate checkout. So I'm gonna to go to my events manager and copy the base code again. On my checkout page, I'm going to click to the advanced tab, paste my base pixel code in there. And then again, instead of tracking it as a page view, I'm going to copy this initiate checkout tracking link. And I'm just gonna replace this page view one as initiate checkout. So they're starting the process of checking it. And then on my thank you page, I wanna track that if they've come here, they've purchased the product. So I'm gonna copy my base code, click to the advanced tab and paste this in. And then on this page, we can find the purchase tracking code. And in here, I'm gonna replace page view with purchase, put the value in, so maybe it was a product for $97, and then you can put in your currency. So on my site, it's Canadian, you can put whatever currency you have. Click save. So now when somebody visits this page, it's gonna to communicate to Facebook that somebody purchased a product for this much. The last thing I'll wanna do is make sure that these pages can't be found in a Google search, especially the thank you pages. So on the thank you pages under SEO, you're gonna to wanna to hide them from search results because the only way I want somebody to get to that page is if I have redirected them there. Okay, I don't want somebody just to visit it randomly because then it's gonna track that they've signed up when they haven't. So now in Events Manager, just click Continue to go through this. Again, we have automatic advanced matching turned on. We're just continuing through. If you haven't yet, make sure you've verified your domain in your business manager. Now we need to test the events that we set up just to make sure they're all working. So we're gonna click go to test events. And we're gonna put in your different URLs for your pages just to test that those events are actually being tracked accurately. So for instance, I'm going to put my live domain name, so not the um, Squarespace one, again, your live domain. And I'm gonna test my webinar thank you page to see if my complete registration event comes up. Okay, so you're gonna put your link for your registration page in there and click open website. Go back to events manager 
you should see your events come up through here saying that it is a complete registration or a purchase for this value and so on. So you'll see them pop up in here. And now you know that your pixel is set up and working and all your events are working. Now there may be a specific case where none of these match what you're trying to do. I would suggest sticking to these events, especially if you're new to pixels, I would suggest sticking to the standard events that are here. But if you're more advanced than this, there may be a situation where this is just sort of not cutting it. I came across this situation recently when I wanted to track views on a specific sales page. I didn't want to track this as a lead because the only way they could get to this specific sales page was if they had watched my webinar and clicked through to this sales page, which means that they were interested in potentially purchasing a product from me. Um, if I tracked it as a lead, it's going to see that as an equal event to somebody downloading a freebie. And that just didn't really work for me. I wanted to know who was watching the webinar and was interested enough to click over to my sales page but they weren't registering for something. They weren't starting a trial. I didn't want it as initiate checkout um, because from there they would go to a checkout page. And so it didn't really fit in with lead registration or initiate checkout. And so I wanted to create my own event so that I could track only people that went to this specific page along their customer journey. So to do that, you're going to go over to the side and click custom conversions and we're gonna create a custom conversion event. You'll want to name it so you know what's happening if this is tracked. So I'm gonna put sales page view. You can give some more description which sales page, you know, make sure that you know exactly what this is about. Make sure it's connected to your business pixel. Okay, and I'm going to say that it is all URL traffic, but the URL must contain and then whatever um, URL that that's specific. So maybe it's, you know, your learn more page or um, sales page or whatever your URL is, you're going to put that in there. So they will be, um, your traffic to this page will be targeted as a sales page. And you can also add a value if that matches with what you're trying to do. And then you're going to click create. So now if somebody goes to that particular page, then it's going to be tracked as a sales page view. Once you have your event set up, you're going to want to go to your data sources, your pixel, and we're going to want to set up aggregated event measurement. And what this does is it prior prioritizes the different events that you've created for your business and tells Facebook which ones are most important. So you can click configure web events. It's only going to show the domain names that you have verified. So again, you must have it verified. So you're going to come in here and for your domain, you're going to rank which of the events that you have are most important for your business. So maybe your purchase is at the top, um, underneath that is initiate checkout, and underneath that is lead. You're gonna order which of those is most important to you. Once you've done that, you'll, you should see this kind of disappear and you won't have um, this little um, warning beside your pixel. And then you're done. That is how you set up your Facebook business account in order to properly track the things that are going on in your Squarespace website.